Hi there and welcome back. Lots to do this weekend. The guest bedroom needs some finishing touches and the guest bedroom still needs a proper bed. And on top of this uh, the garden is completely messy and overgrown. So, as I said, lots to do. Let's get started. I titled last week's episode quite daringly with the word done. But to tell the truth, that wasn't really correct, because the window frames still need a final color and so does the bathroom door frame. And there are still nail holes in the trim work, door frame and window frames. Let's fix that. And while the wood filler sets, we can use the time to help out in the garden. At first sight, everything looks lush green and quite romantic with this elder bush in full bloom. But all this romance comes with a price. Due to our neighborhood to the lake, mosquitoes love to hide in our lawn. Just waiting to go blood hunting. Let's change that. Although I really hate doing this, as I love this kind of overgrown wilderness look, my job is to trim the meadow in front of our property for a good night's sleep without any mosquito sound in our bedroom. And this is how an enthusiastic gardener looks. And done. In the meantime, the wood filler has set so that we can continue on less dirty jobs.
First you send off the overfill. And then we can prepare everything for paint. It's just a quick drop, so I decided not to cover or remove everything. In last week's episode I asked you what to do with the pine wood of the door and window frames. And it was always 50-50. Some said paint it white. Others said stain it. So I decided to paint it with white stain. The idea behind it is that if I don't like it, I still can paint it white afterwards. Can't do it the other way around. First impression after two coats of stain, the wood still keeps its natural look, but loses all this orangey color that I don't like. But let's turn this room now finally into a bedroom. I bought a used IKEA bed, disassembled it to transport it and now I've got to reassemble it. I discovered that you can find all the assembly instructions of their products on their website. Quite a lifesaver in my situation.
This bed is in the style of a typical Scandinavian day bed. You can use it for a quick nap during daytime, but it serves pretty good as a proper bed at nighttime as well. It wasn't easy to assemble everything without any space to maneuver. In case if you might wonder why there is a double set of slatted frames, by pulling it out you can double the size from a single to a queen size bed. Hence the two mattresses. Some drawers. And it's done. The bed and the room. The drawers are quite convenient to keep all the bedding. And, as I said, you can extend it to a queen size. In this case, we have to remove the desk to the room next door, but that's doable. So, garden tidied up, guest bedroom finished, that's what I'd call a weekend well seized. Time to enjoy all this beauty. And to try the new bed extensively. If you like this video and would like to see more of this, I mean this content, not a man in bed, so please hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you won't miss out my next video. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy.